Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Xiaomi TM1801 Gamer. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your storage and your memory. So first thing you want to do with any computer operation, turn your computer off, make sure it's powered down correctly, unplug your charger. We're going to flip it over to access your screws. Uh, we have these four screws down here on the bottom. We got these four screws on this top grate and they snuck one in on us right here under this rubber foot. So you've got to get that rubber foot up. I prefer taking all of them up because these two end pieces fit inside this one. So to not damage them, I took up these end two pieces first, took up that third piece last, and there was a screw right in there on top in the middle. So those are all the screws you got. Uh, then I would use a small pry tool, maybe like a metal or plastic, a hard plastic guitar pick. And I'll go across this side, this seam you can see here right on the edge and pry this bottom case off of the laptop. As a side note, guys, any computer repair I do, I have this computer sitting on an anti-static mat right now. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to limit the chances of hurting anything when you're poking around inside your computer. If you need any help with tools or supplies, there'll be a link above. Also below in the description to my Amazon store that can give you some suggestions on stuff like that. After you remove your bottom case, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Also with any repair I do in a computer, the first thing I do is remove your battery because again, we're trying to get as little power running through this as possible to avoid damaging anything as we're touching it. So to remove your battery, what you wanna do is remove this screw here, this screw here, and this one there. And those are the three screws that hold this battery in. And then as you can see the battery wire, oh, I'm sorry, there's a screw right here too. I forgot that one. Uh, this wire comes up and plugs into the motherboard right here. Now, instead of just grabbing the battery and pulling it out or grabbing the wire and pulling it out, make sure you go after the plug only so you don't damage the wires. So you can grab these end tabs for the plug with your fingernails or a pry tool and jimmy that out. Or you can put a pry tool right there in that center grip and push it out, but don't, don't pull on your wires. After taking the battery out, this is your hard drive and your solid state drive. So the M2 port right here fits in very simply. This is the port that it slides into, and there's a single screw that holds it down. So to replace it, you would undo that screw and you would slide it out of that port. This hard drive down here is held in by this screw on top, this screw on the bottom. Once those screws are removed, you can slide this to the left away from this port that it plugs into to release your hard drive. Now to actually replace your hard drive or to replace it with a solid state drive, a 2.5 inch SATA drive, what you would do is there's two screws on either side of this hard drive caddy, either one of the long sides. You would undo those four screws, the hard drive would come out of the caddy, you would put the new one into the caddy. Now the RAM is held under this little box right here. So I, I put a small pry tool right here in the corner and pop this box up. And these are your two RAM sticks for this computer. And they're held in by two metal arms that are spring loaded on either side. What you would do is you would pry those metal arms apart very gently to release the RAM stick. In most cases, it'll even pop up a little bit. And then you can slide your RAM out of that port right there. So that's the video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. But if you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. Also, check out the related links below in the description. I try to add things in there that can help you in your computer world from time to time. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.